welcome to A level and AP physics, a place where you can improve your understanding of physics with confidence. In today's lesson, we will talk about thermal expansion and bimetallic strip from Cambridge IGCSC physics. In this video, I will explain you what exactly temperature is, what is difference between temperature and thermal energy. We will also talk about thermal expansion of solids and bimetallic strip. At the end of the video, we will also do some questions about this topic from IGCSE past papers. Let's try to understand temperature and heat. Uh, let me ask you one very simple question. Are temperature and heat the same? To answer this question, you can look at these two pictures. We have one spoon full of boiling water and one beaker full of boiling water. So it's very easy to answer is that temperature and heat are not the same. Uh, because a beaker of boiling water will have much higher thermal energy than spoonful of boiling water. What is difference between temperature and thermal energy? Uh, we can simply understand temperature tells you the average kinetic energy of the particles in a material. On the other hand, thermal energy is the total energy of all the particles in a material. Uh, we can also say that thermal energy depends on number of particles. If the number of particles are greater, it means the thermal energy is higher. But there is a one condition if temperature is same. When solids, liquid and gases are heated, the molecules of solids and liquids are gases, they gain thermal energy. The molecules move faster and they take up more space. Take up more space means that the separation between molecules increases. The molecules go away from each other. Opposite is also true when temperature falls. When temperature falls, molecules get closer. They come closer and the separation between molecules decreases. But one thing we have to be very clear is that the size of molecules do not change. And also we need to understand different substances they have different coefficient of expansion. It means that they expand by a different amount. If the rise in temperature is the same. Also, the liquids expand more when heated than solids, and gases expand even more than liquids when heated. But it also depends on pressure, volume, and Temperature. Thermal expansion and contraction of solids can cause many problems in everyday. Uh, so it is very important to consider behavior of different materials under different weather conditions. For example, how material will behave if temperature is too low and how material will behave if temperature is too high. So for this reason, when we design bridges, we have to consider thermal expansion or when we design aeroplanes we also need to consider thermal expansion and even when we design overhead cables you can see in this picture there are expansion joints in the bridges so these expansion joints help bridges to maintain their shape under very hot weather or when temperature is too high uh, when the temperature is too high the material will expand and if there are no expansion join the bridge might buckle on this slide you can see there are two pictures one is on the left side and one is on the right side uh, but there is a one difference between these two railway tracks uh, the one on the right side it has expansion joints but one on the left side it has no expansion joints uh, so the one with out expansion joint is not suitable under severe weather conditions when the weather is too hot or when the weather is too cold but the one with expansion joint is suitable under different weather conditions now you can see the one on the left side it has been deformed this railway track has been deformed or it has been buckled uh, because it has no expansion joints uh, so uh, it's very important to consider weather conditions when we design these railway tracks. So now these days we have developed actually different kinds of uh, materials or we can simply say certain type of materials with very low coefficient of expansion to overcome weather conditions and also we make use of expansion joint in railway track to overcome weather 
condition. Let's try to answer one question about thermal expansion of solids. You can see in this picture we have a thermometer and this thermometer is designed based on thermal expansion of liquids. Let's try to understand bimetallic strip. Bimetallic strip is very simple thing. It's very easy to understand as you can see from its name bi. Bi means two, metallic means metal. Simply bimetallic strip two metals are together, we combine them, we call it bimetallic strip. So in this example, you can see here we have brass and iron, these are two metals and they're combined together, so they form one bimetallic strip. Uh, so when we cool down, so you can see brass is on the top, it contracts more. But on the other hand, when we heat up, brass is on the top, it expands more. So we can simply conclude that if the material has higher coefficient of expansion, it will expand more on heating. And on the other hand, if it has higher coefficient of expansion, it will also contract more on cooling. Let's try to understand some applications of bimetallic strip. Basically, bimetallic strip can be used to control temperature. We can use bimetallic strip in heaters or we can use bimetallic strip in refrigerators. In this example, we are using bimetallic strip in fire alarm. Uh, you can see here we have bimetallic strip here and this bimetallic strip is made of two metals. One is brass, one is invoice and brass has higher coefficient of expansion uh, than in war state. So in case of fire, brass will expand more and it will close the circuit and this bell will start ringing. So it will tell people there is a fire. Let me ask you one question about expansion of solids and if you have good understanding of uh, thermal expansion, you should be able to answer this question. To answer this question, please first of all read this question carefully, make your mind and then answer. If you said answer is A, you are right, it means you have good understanding of thermal expansion of solid.